Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be doing kind of mini twists, medium twists. Before we start be sure you are subscribed and press the bell next to it so you get a notification every time I post a new video. So starting off on freshly shampooed, conditioned and deep conditioned hair. I did put the leave-in conditioner at in at the sink on my hair when it was soaking, dripping wet. In the last video, I didn't do that and you guys can tell the difference. So I did go ahead and do it this time. All right, and now that we have that worked in, I'm gonna section my hair into four parts. And of course, I will be starting with the back. By the way, these clips are from Amazon. I think I just searched up, um, hair clips yeah I searched up hair clips for women and it comes with 10 in a pack and that's like more than enough because I only use like probably six the most so yeah that's a good buy so this was supposed to be a mini twist type of video but I don't know for some reason my hands always go larger so it ended up being like medium twist not large but more on the medium side so yeah, this is a mini, no, not a mini. This is a medium twist video. <laughs> I have my leave-in conditioner in my hair already, and now I'm gonna be using the Melanin Twist Elongating Style Cream. This been on my shelf for like probably a year. I know you're supposed to follow the expiration dates on the back of the container, but to be honest, who really follows that? So I'm gonna be using that, and for my oil, I'm gonna be using the same grapeseed oil that I used in my last video. I'm also gonna point out that I am doing the LCO method. Uh, my hair just prefers that method. I did mention that's because of the porosity of my hair. So I have my leave-in already, I put the cream, and then I did the oil, and now I'm going in my, with my twist. When I do my twist, I try to like um, pull it to make sure that I'm getting my roots. But by the time I get to the end, my roots are already puffy. So if you guys have like a method or a way that you guys prevent that from happening, yeah, be sure to share that in the comments below. I think I could probably do like a bantu knot with a twist or something. I don't know. But that's a twist and we're gonna continue. Look how juicy that looks. And I'm just throwing in a quick length check in there because my hair is like definitely growing and I think it's due to me getting a professional trim. So I know a lot of people are out there like, uh, oh, you don't need to trim your hair. I feel like you do need to trim your hair because those split ends and everything is just going to start moving up, which happened to my hair, causing the good parts of your hair to go bad. So do get trims. So I'm at the top part of my hair and I just want to show you guys how the leave-in conditioner like while adding it to your hair while it's soaking wet actually works. During this video I stopped multiple times to like go downstairs to get packages, stop to eat and do multiple things and my hair is still moisturized. So as you can see I did the entire backside and the right side of my head already and my hair is still moisturized. So if you're not putting in your leave-in conditioner while your hair is dripping wet give it a try and let me know. I was just stopping to see how much I had left because I was just ready to be done. But I am gonna finish the rest of my hair off camera and then I'll be back to show you guys the final look. And here we have our quote unquote mini um, medium twist <laughs> because they're not really so mini. But um, 
yeah this is actually like a regular size it's not too big not too small so it still works I did these twists because I was kind of going through like laziness not wanting to do my hair so this was the style that I chose for wash day and I kept these in for I think about a week yeah I think it was a full week that I kept these in So before I throw my bonnet on, I'm going to go in with the vitamin E oil and I'm going to put that on my edges. Um, I still use my castor oil, but I sometimes rotate them. And then I'm going to use the almond oil to use it as like an extra layer of moisturizer onto my twist. So I'm just going to pour that in my hands and rub that all over. To be 100 and keep it completely honest, I was just so glad that I was finished and I already knew I was keeping these in for a long time. I wouldn't have to touch my hair other than um, like adding moisturizer or whatever it was to it. Like I wouldn't have to do my hair. So I was just beyond excited about that. And now the final step, I'm just going to take two scrunchies and do like two little pigtails because I know if I put my bonnet on with my hair just freely, I would wake up looking crazy. So I just took um, my scrunchies and did two pigtails at the ends. And that's how I do my quote unquote mini medium twist. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't get to subscribe at the beginning of the video, you can do that now. And also press the bell so you get post notifications every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.